everyone and welcome to Art à la carte. This is my piece for the YouTube Artist Collective. So the YouTube Artist Collective is a group of fantastic artists um, from YouTube that every other month get together and have to create a piece based on a theme. And I'll tell you guys a little bit later in this video how they come to choose a theme. But this is a group that I've been watching for a couple of months now, and I've always have looked forward to seeing what they create. I think the first one they had was creating a picture based on a song, and then the last one they had was um, creating a mythical creature. And when I heard the theme for this month's Artist Collective theme, I wanted to be part of this group so bad. So I went ahead and asked if I could join and was so excited when they said yes. Now, I love drawing themes. I love to be challenged, and you guys give me lots of great challenges. But it is so much fun when you're drawing a theme, and then you get to go and look at all the other artists and how they perceive the theme. And I think that is something super fun. And I'm so excited to go and look at all the different artists' um, channels and see what they came up with. And again, a little bit later in this video, I will tell you where you can find more information about the YouTube Artist Collective and where you can go and find all these wonderful artists. But first, let's get on to the theme of this piece, which if you read the title, you probably already know. But this theme was Beautiful Nightmare. Now, for those of you guys who have followed me on YouTube, you know that my work is generally not creepy. It's usually cute and fluffy and and pretty and all that. So I really related to the beautiful part, um, but the nightmare part intrigued me because it's something that I normally don't do. And I thought, ah, this is going to be such an awesome, fun challenge. And I'll tell you that the hardest part was actually picking an idea. I had so many ideas for this piece. It was unbelievable how many ideas I had. So first I went and took what idea scares me the most? Like, if anything could happen to me, what would be most terrifying? And even though I love the water, I love the ocean, there's also a really big sense of creepiness in the ocean because you just don't know what's down there. So first I was going to do um, a picture of a sailor who was kind of like drowning and there was this mermaid and you kind of had to decide was the mermaid helping or hindering the sailor and that was kind of creepy but it wasn't creepy enough it was a little still too much on the pretty side and so I pushed myself again so I decided to go back into more of uh, my childhood and, and to find out what things I really found creepy and creepy in a beautiful way not like just creepy like it scared me like you know clowns or something scares people but like something that I found creepy but I was strangely always drawn to that and so the topic that I went with was a graveyard. So here is a little uh, creepy trivia of my life when I was a child. I loved going to graveyards and walking around in graveyards when I was a kid. I know, kind of creepy. I liked reading the tombstones. I liked reading the names. I liked to read how old people were. But it also gave me just this creepy sense. And the second part of this creepy idea came from a poem written by the creepy writer Edgar Allan Poe, and it's called The Raven. And if you've never read The Raven before, I will, in my best, I will uh, recite the first part of the poem of The Raven. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over a mini quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping, Suddenly there came a tapping, as if someone was gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. "'Tis some visitor,' I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. Ah, distinctly I remember, it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow, from my book surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost... Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Lenore, nameless here forevermore. And the silken sad uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before, so that now, to still my beating heart, I stood repeating, "'Tis some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door, some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door, this is it and nothing more. Presently my soul grew stronger, hesitating then no longer. Sir, I said, oh, madam, truly, your forgiveness I implore. But the fact is I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door. 
that I scarce was sure I heard you. Here I opened wide the door, darkness there, and nothing more. Deep into the darkness peering, long I stood there wandering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal dared to ever dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was the whispered word, Lenore. This I whispered, and the echoed murmured back the word, Lenore. Merely this, and nothing more. Back into the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning, soon again I heard her tapping, somewhere louder than before. Surely, I said, Surely this is something at my window lattice. Let me see then what thereat is, and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment, and this mystery explore. Tis the wind and nothing more. Open here I flung the shutters, when with many flirt and flutters, in there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least of sense made he, not one minute stop or stayed he, but with mien the lord or lady perched above my chamber door, perched upon the bust of palace just above my chamber door perched and sat and nothing more then this ebony bird beguiling my sad face into smiling by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore though thy crest be shaven shorn thou i said art sure no craven ghastly grim and ancient raven wandering from the nightly shore tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's plutonium shore quoth the raven nevermore there's actually a lot more to this poem. I just went to just the first part where you meet the raven, but you can already tell it's kind of creepy. Um, if you want to hear or read them more, you can definitely Google it or even search in YouTube. I'm just write uh, the raven poem. But let me talk a little bit about how I created this piece. So I actually wanted to do a more of a mixed media piece and include a lot of different mediums. So first I did a ton of sketching in my sketchbook. I had so many sketches and ideas planned out for this piece and looked at a lot of different reference photos for uh, you know for the the figure standing so after i got it sketched then i scanned it into my computer and i enlarged the image the size i wanted and then took that image printed that image off and then traced that image onto my paper so the paper i'm using is express it blending card which is mainly for copic markers but i knew it was going to be tough enough that i could do a lot of other stuff with it on as well after I got it inked in, and I think I used my Sakura Micron uh, Brown for that one, then I went ahead and began putting in the base colors using my Copic markers. And this took a long time. I think just putting just the Copics in took over an hour, just laying in the base coats. I mean, this is not with any shadow or shading. This is just the flat base, uh, you know, flat color. <laughs> After I got the base coat completely laid in with my Copic markers, I then took my Prisma brand color pencils and began to add in textures, shadows, and highlights. And again, this took a lot of time. So while you are to this part, let me go ahead and tell you a little bit more about the YouTube Artist Collective. So the YouTube Artist Collective originally started with four members, and over the last couple of months, they've added a few more. So I think we're up to a grand total of 11 artists in the YouTube Artist Collective. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to each one of those artists' YouTube channels in the description box below. So after you finish watching this video, I really encourage you go and check out these other YouTube artists and see what they created for the beautiful Nightmare Collective theme. What's also fun about this is that not only are all these YouTube artists um, creating this piece, but each one of them are putting these pieces up for sale on their stores. So definitely, if you ever wanted to purchase some original art, this is the time to do that, especially with this kind of fun theme. Um, so each of us are going to be selling this art. You can find mine in my Etsy shop, and I'll leave a link to my Etsy shop in the description box below. You can go and check that out, but also go ahead and check out their pieces. You might find one that you really, really like. For those of you who'd like to be part of the choosing of the theme, I'm also going to leave a link to the YouTube Artist Collective Facebook page. Now, this is where you're going to find all information about all the YouTube artists. A lot of us put up photos of our work in progress, kind of chit chat with people there. It's a great place for the artists to be able to talk with you guys and answer any questions that you have and a way for you guys to be involved as well. The biggest way that you guys can be involved in the YouTube Artist Collective is by voting on each individual theme. So make sure that you like the Facebook page so that you'll be notified when the next voting comes up. And I'm super excited to see what you guys vote for. So back to the picture that I'm working on. 
So after a good hour or so of just putting in and laying in some color pencils, I really was trying to get the whiteness of her shroud to be a little bit more pronounced. I wanted her to still stay somewhat see-through, um, but I really wanted part of the shroud to be less transparent. And the color pencils weren't doing it. So I first I tried going back in with like watercolor and that kind of helped a little bit, but I needed something a little bit more bold. So I had a white jelly pen that I went and tried to put on there, but the texture of the paper was so smooth and there was so much wax from the color pencils that it really wasn't able to pick up the jelly roll. There was nothing for the jelly roll to like grab onto. So I decided to get really ingenious and I went and got some, some white out. I have a, some white out that's in a pin. And at first I just kind of squeezed some on a, a separate piece of paper and then took a paintbrush and painted that on there. And it worked really well, but it was kind of globby. And I made a glob and I went, oh, no, I just globbed my picture. So I ended up taking my pick, my finger and trying to smear it. And it had this amazing effect. I loved the smear. So after that, I just went and took the actual pin and would apply the white out directly to the paper in a big glob and then take my finger and smear it around. And that created such a fun effect. So towards the very end of the picture, I wanted to add one more element. And this is the part where you're like, oh, the picture looks so good. Maybe I don't want to put this in here because I don't want to mess it up. But you just have to take a deep breath and go for it. I wanted to put the raven. Originally, I was just going to have the Lenore written on the tombstone and have that as the only kind of ode to that. But I thought, no, it really needs the raven. And so I just took a deep breath and I took uh, one of my brush pens and I just began to draw in the raven. <laughs> if I ruin this, I get this in. because this was done like the like the day before yesterday. So I had like two days before the, the video was supposed to be out. If I ruined this picture, I would be starting from the beginning again. And so I was so scared, but I, I really wanted the raven in there. I enjoyed it. It turned out really cool at the end. And I actually hit another raven in the picture somewhere else. So even though this piece is not what I normally do, I normally don't do, you know, kind of a creepy picture. It was really fun and challenging. And I encourage you guys that even if you're not part of an artist group, ask someone to give you a challenge, you know, ask your friends or something, challenge me with something and then try to draw that. This was a really fun and challenging piece for me. I really, really enjoyed it. It was fun and I can't wait for the next challenge. If you like this piece, definitely head over to my Etsy shop. You can take a peek at that. I'll have the original for sale. If you're brand new to this channel, well, welcome to Art a la Carte. I post three videos each week. Some of them are tutorial based, some are speed draws, some are challenges, all sorts of different fun things. And almost all of them are by requests from you guys. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. I'm excited to go and see what the other artists created for this theme, but I'm really curious, what would you create if you had to do this theme? Let me know in the comments section below what what idea springs to mind when you hear beautiful nightmare it was a lot of fun i really really enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did so until next time god bless you guys and we'll see you in the next video Bye bye